here we are with Duncan, another day. Duncan's been working tirelessly on the back of this vehicle. So we'll just, or Duncan has, I'm not having no day to do with it. Duncan's just fitted all these new carpets in. Uh, I think they're pretty good. I'm going to go around the side, Duncan, have a look around the side. And uh, we're just sort of putting all this together. So actually, you can see brand new carpets. Where did you get them from, Duncan? Are these uh, Exmoor trim? They are Exmoor trim. These are yeah. Exmoor trim carpets. Uh, we're now going to, I think it's Maasai, into yeah. it for the trim for all around the windows and we're going to go for headliner as well, eh, Duncan? Yeah, yeah. We're going to get all that stuff from Maasai 4x4. Yeah. And so that's the next there. pieces to go in. And if you can see around the back here, that's looking pretty damn good now, I think, isn't it? Yeah. Just to trim to finish it off. And that was the next stage. Trim the headline on, job done. Right, you may have seen in one of our previous videos the, the horrible camo seat covers we had on. Now we don't do camo anymore, do we? No. Our time in camo's no. well gone. So, I'm going to look, we thought these were going to be hard, uh, covering up really bad seats. But we took the covers off. And if you have a look in here, the seats are immaculate. We're really impressed with them. Yeah, look at the front seats. So we're going to keep these seats uh, and keep them the way they are because the headliner we're going to put in is going to be black, uh, sorry, going to be grey and the trim we're going to be putting on is black so it actually goes with these seats. So absolutely fantastic we think. So no point changing something that doesn't need changed. Duncan's done a fantastic job in here. Here we are, next stage on the, the Defender here. We looked, we've just got all the uh, trim in from Maasai. Uh, looks really good, so we'll be fitting that. As we said in a, a, an earlier video, we're going to replace the headliner as well. We did look at that from Maasai as well, but we couldn't really justify spending about eight or nine hundred pound on the roof liner. So we're going to carpet it. So Duncan's already stripped the back end out. Uh, we're just doing this last bit here in the front and then we'll get this all taken out and get it carpeted uh, like we've done in some of our other vehicles but looking at this here we're going to soundproof this as well there's no soundproofing on it so we'll put a bit of soundproofing up there as well so that's what we're up to today so all going well eh, Duncan? yeah all good so lots happening what's happening with this vehicle so there's all the headliner out now and uh next job is we're going to uh kind of carpet we'll take you through that process carpet the the new headliner we're going to put in uh or the old headliner with new carpet on it um we're also going to do some soundproofing as i mentioned earlier on and we're very lucky to be sponsored in this build by dynamat i hope you can see that Let me just lift that up here the lights are shining on a bit so we got all the dynamat here and they've also sent us loads of di different goodies like uh kind of blades Pens, stickers, and lots of gloves, and an applicator roller. So we've got a few boxes of this uh, Dynamat to, to do on this vehicle. And just take that tinny sound out of a Defender. Those that drive them know that they can be a little bit tinny. So this will give some better kind of sound deadening. Uh, just make things close better, like uh, when they, they close with that satisfying thud, as opposed to a tinny thud. a four-way stretch carpet I think it is and uh, we've done several uh, roof liners with these before and they turn out really well first thing is we don't want uh, glue all over table because it's we've got a it's not self-adhesive we've got to add the adhesive to it so we'll just take this uh, painters kind of uh, poly uh, to the table just protect the table a bit because this is where we have our dinner and then uh, we'll start the process of covering the, the roof liner. We've cut out from the template, you can see where we've drawn for the sunroof and uh, the light, overhead light and all that. Duncan's just put on the first adhesive. You can get this uh, so that it's kind of pre-glued. We prefer to use through trial and error. Yeah, uh, don't, don't get the pre-glued, it, it makes it very very difficult. So we get the carpet, non-glued non carpet and we apply the adhesive to it that way you, you get better control when you do this and again we found this out the hard way by trial and error we've, we've done both and we find this process the better and it just adds a little bit to your 
uh, your, the headliner is really, really good after it. So why pay all that money for headliner when you can just put a bit of carpet on it? So Duncan's done this with all our vehicles. He's a bit of a dab hand at it. So he applies it to the headliner and to the carpet as well to give it a double shot of a kind of adhesive. Uh, so they bond together and um, we find we've done this in several vehicles now so we find this works incredibly well uh, and then it's just a case of shaping it and working out best where to make the cuts uh, the fold overs for the to make sure it goes underneath so it stays up there so all, all good you see it's a very easy process nothing to be kind of scared of doing and uh, we advise this uh, in all the vehicles like we I say this, much of the carpet cost is Duncan? Uh, £66, I think. £66 as opposed to... Uh, 6 meter by 2 meter. There you go, 6 meter by 2 meter is enough to do this vehicle. Uh, that cost is 60 quid, opposed to what we could have paid for a headliner, which was around the £800 to £900, £900 mark. Quid. So this is a no-brainer for us. Uh, although we've got good funding for this, there's no, no point in wasting money and throwing it away on things you don't really need. And it's really important when you're doing this that you cut it oversize so that you can fold uh, the excess uh, around the uh, actual headliner. Uh, and this, if it's glued down properly, I think on the factory ones they're, they're stapled down. But we find this, uh, this adhesive works really, really well to keep it in. You can see Duncan's just working his way around with the adhesive and uh, just making sure in that way we don't get the sag. If this is done tightly enough, we don't get the sag, which is MD that's driven these vehicles. No, that's the bit that really annoys them, that when it actually, the carpet actually starts to, or the headliner starts to sag down. Yeah, we now have the carpet on and we just need to cut out the uh, the holes for the all the little bits and pieces on, like uh, the... the uh, sunroof which Duncan's cutting out the now, the interior light and all the other little bits and pieces uh, mechanisms that go on the, the roof. Now with this we don't particularly want to have an overlap uh, because there's obviously the, the seal to put on and stuff like that like so Duncan will cut this bit close to the edge and then we may even trim it a little bit more after that but just to get the shape and now we'll just do that uh, because we don't want that as you can see, the way we've uh, curled it over on uh, the edges, we don't particularly want that round the sunroof because there's limited space for the little bits and pieces to go in. Uh, Duncan is just now trimming uh, the little bit I mentioned that uh, we don't want any excess here. So he's just now trimming that to thing. And luckily we're using these really good light and nice that were supplied by Dynamat to do this, which is incredibly sharp. Uh, but you just need a, a really sharp Stanley blade to do this. You see it cuts very easily. It's the first one done, uh, so we're going to get on with the other two uh, bits of the headliner. Uh, but that's the first one's done, which is all good. So here we are, that's the uh, headliner all done now. Four sections, you get a front, middle and rear. And then you get a bit for the, just above the back door there. So a good job done by Duncan. And that's all done now. Ready to put in, but first, next job is... Dynamat. Brought the uh, Defender outside. Uh, we're, we've just finished doing the, the headliner, uh, carpet and that, and we're now going to get on with uh, the next stage, which is to put the Dynamat in. But we're cooking inside the uh, workshop there, so we've got a nice little breeze coming through us here, so it's cooler outside underneath the, the tree here, uh, just outside our front door of our centre. So here we go, crack on with the Dynamat. So we're using the Dynamat gloves that they gave us, so and sheets of Dynamat. Uh, this is probably the best uh, sound ender that we know of, uh, Dynamat, and luckily we got some sponsorship from Dynamat who are helping us out with this. Uh, you see, it's, the sheets are almost exactly the right size for this panel here. Uh, Duncan, use that roller. Two six. I've run off slightly, but hey, you There we go. There you go. Proper application on it there. Should 
uh, kind of quieting this vehicle down quite a bit. Uh, no soundproofing in it at all. As you can see, there's nothing been on there before. Uh, Dunk is gone. <laughs> uh, it's, it's gone well with them gloves on, isn't it? Yeah, you're going really well with these gloves on. Right, so we're just applying the Dynamat the new. So those that have not used Dynamat before, if you've used a Lando before, you know they're pretty thin. This is what it sounds like without the Dynamat. You can there it is with the Dynamat on. It just quietens everything down and makes everything uh, so that the decibels don't rattle about in here you know because it's a bit rattly this is the doors and everything within a, a defender if Duncan just pans on that door you'll see that as well once we put dynamite on there it will just dull that sound down completely and we'll do the whole vehicle with dynamite so we're just doing the finishing touches with the dynamite on the roof mm. oh and that's the horn uh <laughs> so I like see it's a very easy process like uh, myself Duncan's taking about I don't know 40 minutes to do this I suppose just got to do that back wall there as you can see uh Duncan's just doing around uh wheel arches uh and then we're ready to put the roof liner in headlining's in now uh we just got to put the seal around the uh the sunroof Duncan's putting the last piece in right now and I have to say that looks pretty damn good to me uh, not a hard job to do, fiddly, uh, better with two people, uh, you can do it with one, but it's better with two obviously. Uh, next job is the trim. Today's job is to fit, uh, fit uh, the, all the surround the, from Maasai 4x4 uh, into the back of the Defender. So we're just finishing a few bits and touches in the back of the Defender now. And then we'll do all the trim. Uh, it's, it's a lovely finish on it. Like if you can look at it, it's kind of like a velour, uh, you know, trim. Very nice from Maasai. You know, it is expensive stuff, but it's very well made. Uh, so that's our next job today. Finish the back of this vehicle off. All right, we're now uh, set, uh, fitting the uh, the Maasai 4x4 trim to the Defender. And the finishing touches now, all the carpet's now been put in the back, uh, which we would, with just a few bits to put there. And Duncan's now adding the trim. Uh, this side's kind of been done. Uh, just a few bits to do in the back there. And it's all starting to come together. So I just put the seat belts back in. Uh, the grey kind of uh, cover you see there, uh, there is a sticker that goes over that to co coincide with the black. Uh, so it's not left like that. It's all coming together. Hey, dunk is in there. We've done the headlining in here, which underneath that we we kind of soundproofed it with Dynamat uh, seat covers. Uh, we're taking off to to, and we found these really decent seats in there. Uh, and this door, see, we've carpeted it all without uh, throughout. Uh, from Exmoor Trim, put the dog guard up now. This is going to be one of our expedition uh, passenger vehicles. So this one we wanted a bit more comfortable. Uh, you see the back compartment looking good with the new uh, carpet in there. We've just put all the surround in there from the all the trim from uh, Maasai 4x4. Have to say we're very happy with that. It makes, finishes it off really really well. And, and that's what we've been up to, so we'll show you more of this soon.